I'm not a stain or am I am anti in any way, so my opinion is 100% unbiased when I say Felix leading and closing Louis Vuitton's fall 2024 Paris Fashion Week show, especially looking the way he did has got to be the most iconic thing in the K-pop fashion world to happen in at least 6 years, for this to be his runway. Debut is actually insane, gag the fuck out of me. Literally nothing in the K-pop fashion sphere in the past few years compares to this moment, I completely understand why stays are proud of him for this, amazing. Why is it every time there's a TikTok posted, there's always people fighting in the comments? I'm like, why are you guys fighting? Why is there always discourse in the comments? And you know, it's like, most of the time it's like, it's about comments about how I filmed the content, like co filmed the TikToks and who filmed the TikTok and whose idea was it? And the thing is, like, what is there to fight about? Because most of the time, most of the time, I'll be honest, most of the time, it is me filming. And so I'm like, yeah, I did film it. But why are people so mad at the fact that I filmed it? Like, I don't know if that's the point. Like, I don't know if that's the point. But people were just like super mad about it. I'm like, and it's like really, I think it's the, I think it's because like it has, the video had nothing to do with me. It's the, I think it's because like it has, the video had nothing to do with me. The video had nothing to do with me, but because my name was brought up, people were just annoyed that my name was brought up. Idols are not their fandoms, they're on the outside of their fandoms really, so it's understandable for them not to be aware of everything that goes on or why something is happening within their fandom. Being aware of the fact that people love hating on idols for no reason and pinning group members against each other it's understandable. Why Kiho would come to that conclusion that people are just upset at the mention of his name. But he admitted to not knowing the point of being upset over comments mentioning him, and even admitted that he thinks it might be because the comments mentioning him are under posts that have nothing to do with him. So I wish he would have taken to time to know the root of this issue before speaking on it because all this did was encourage his solos to continue being shitty. This is no different than some random K-pop group doing something worth praise in the West and armies make unnecessary comments contributing these random idols' success to BTS B1 Harmony as a collective are very funny and charming, so for Kiho stands to continuously boil down the charm of this group to be just because of Kiho is upsetting as a fan, especially knowing that he's the most favored member who gets the most recognition out of the whole group. I could argue that Kiho is more popular than P1 Harmony, you can't blame him for that, it's fine that he's the most popular, he's amazing and people like who they like, but why do his fans need to keep shoving that in everyone else's faces? It's a toxic environment that in some cases feels like harassment, comment after comment after comment even under posts that are not related to P1 at all are mentioning him, I do not even interact with pieces because of his cult-like following. So the better question isn't, is this something worth arguing over, but why the hell do his fans feel the need to act this way in the first damn place? Now on to sultry film specific updates. Karina shared an apology letter on her Instagram for dating actor Lee Jae-wook, in short. She said she knows fans are disappointed, she's thankful for fans ever since debut and will continue to work hard. NCT Taeyong behind the scenes video has angered netizens after watching a conversation with his director, sparking complaints about SM Entertainment mistreating him. Shiny's own new and Taemin exclusive contracts with SMNs. Taemin allegedly moves to Big Planet Made Entertainment. Shiny's activities will continue at SM Entertainment without change. SM staff and SM fans should be glad HYBE is trying to take over because alone they're what you call, shitting the bed. Red Velvet's Wendy criticized for her cover of Love on Top. It is a real epidemic in K-pop for idols to sing covers outside of their abilities that's why covers are so hated. We all know Wendy can sing, but Wendy attempted to sing like how Beyonce sang her song when Wendy cannot sing like Beyonce. And this isn't just a her problem, idols are always singing songs that are outside of their range, or not suited for their voice and I don't understand why. Two gay men allegedly fought in a gay club in Itaewon over who should sing the intro in Idol's Super Lady. That's seriously funny as fuck. Rises Anton posts photo with IU from 14 years ago, seriously IU doesn't age. 
Behind the observation that highly favored female idols like Jenny and Irene as well are not supposedly aging, as if they don't look their age when they actually do, is bullshit and enables ageism in K-pop, not sultry films specifically, but these are the same people who were saying Sakura looked old at 24-25 when she's years younger than Jenny, Irene and IU and looks it. And not just Sakura, people age up Yuna of Itzy and Eugene of Ive who both definitely look 20, especially without makeup are making claims that IU, Jenny and Irene look 5 to 10 years younger than they are, they do not, they're beautiful and they look their age at the same time so there's no need to push this narrative that the most favored female idols look younger than they are, none of them are old and even if they were beauty is not synonymous to age. Fans call out Itzy's staff for failing to protect the members from fans who are invading their personal space. <laughs> Itzy's staff doesn't need to be called out, they need to be cussed out. This the kind of shit that gets me heated. Those fans aren't given psych evaluations before showing up. They could have done anything to Itzy. Stabbed them, sexually assaulted them anything. It's happened to celebrities before left subjected to overly excited obsessors. Because no you're not an actual fan if you invade these people's personal space jeopardizing their mental and physical health. Fucking roaches. I was thinking about incorporating western pop news in my videos as well as k-pop news and calling the segment, Hot Pop, do you all like this idea or do you hate it or can you think of a better name for it? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.